to me, uh, quite magnificent from this particular uh, deposit, which would be the Channing Two Mine, uh, uh, Northern Cape of South Africa. You have a whole lot of uh, uh, manganite crystals uh, trapped inside almost a sandwich of matrix. So you have the, the top layer here, top layer there, and then in the cross section in the middle, you have this whole uh, slightly rounded formation of the um, uh, uh, manganite crystals. I wonder, we may find some tiny boronite crystals associated here too. Uh, Brawnite or perhaps Bixbyite because this came from the, the, the same deposits. Um, often also I found associations of uh, Sturmanite on the, on the rounded manganite uh, formation. So this goes right through and right round. Um, on the still pictures I, didn't, I wasn't able to really bring out. I think there is a section where you can actually see the, the manganite crystals. But you have this this bright lustrous lot happening inside this, these two sandwiches of matrix. There's a, even on the sides you have a barrier of matrix. And then as you open the barrier you have these, these lovely, ah, there we go, look at that. That manganite formation is sort of around it. Now, in the Kalahari manganese fields, the uh, uh, Kalahari mounds of the northern cape of South Africa, we had a lot of different uh, formations of the manganite as well. I remember on the old red radical sites we had a more, uh, almost a dog tooth manganite, whereas this always almost makes little cartwheels. All from the Channing 2 mine, Northern Cape of South Africa, manganite sandwich.